All right, guys, what do we have over here? It seems like people are still dying in Syria. I mean, tell me something new. All right, children in Yemen are still starving. I mean, I don't see what the big deal is. Okay, Palestine is still not free. I guess we'll just make some dua for them or something. I mean, hang, hang on a second. What is this? A rapper uses Islam in an inappropriate way to gain some controversial clout? Now that's a story. Assalamu alaikum, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Can I just tell you how hashtag blessed I feel that you decided to spend a few of your moments here with me today. I mean, you could have decided to spend your time reading some Quran or applying that new sunnah that you learned, but instead, you decided to spend your few moments here with me today. Good choice. Good choice. Recently, Muslim rapper, and yes, I said Muslim and rapper in the same sentence. Get with the program, boomers. It's 2020, bruh. Who openly reps Islam in a recent music video, which I will not share the name of over here because I would hate to be the motivating factor of why you clicked that link and demonstrated the fact that you have the self-control of a three-year-old and to blame it on me. I will not allow you to blame your sins on me, my friends. In this music video, my man Little Dirk is wearing a whole bunch of koofies and a whole bunch of custom thobe designs that will make any man jealous for my latest thobe collection called SQ Essentials. I'm, I'm obviously joking, I don't have a thobe collection, but season one of the new merch is dropping soon. So stay tuned, my friends. Let me explain what Muslims are so appalled about in this new music video of my man, Little Dawood. Oh, let me guess, is it his constant promotion of money and drugs? <laughs> nope, it's definitely not that. Or maybe it's the promotion of his past criminal activity and his reference to guns. Haha, <laughs> you would think so, but it definitely isn't that either. Or maybe it's him sharing his sexual exploitations and objectifying women, huh? Ha, <laughs> you would think so, right? But uh, immorality is the new trend these days. I mean, gosh darn it, if it's not that, then what has the Muslim's feathers all ruffled? Oh, he showed a Quran in the new music video. Oh wait, that's it? Uh, pretty much, that's it. Uh, apparently Muslims are okay with things going against the Quran, but the moment you bring a Quran in the music video, that's a definite no-no. Wow, that makes no sense at all. I know, right? Well, let's go with that. Well, here's the clip from Lil Dawood's new music video where he's rapping over the mushaf. And not just any mushaf, that's the mushaf that your sheikh uses in Taraweeh, bro. Like that mushaf is ginormous, and seeing this makes us want to cancel Lil Dawood, and this guy is all triggered. In all seriousness, guys, I think it's pretty fair to believe that we all know that Quran and music just don't go well together, and uh, they just don't mix, and there's certain boundaries that we all have within us that even when they get crossed, we all get a little upset. I personally don't have anything against my man Lil Donish, and I'm sure he's doing a lot of good within his communities to help people change from that street lifestyle and use his influence that he has in the streets of Chicago to help motivate people to stop what they were doing and turn to Allah or do something positive. I'm sure the things that he talks about cannot be appreciated by us who might not have had that street lifestyle, but those who are in the streets find a lot of hope in him and they see a way out due to him. And perhaps someone who's struggling within that street haram lifestyle finds some goodness in this music from our bro and uh, presses that eject button from all that haram, all thanks to our little bro, Little Daniel. This obviously doesn't excuse him from what he is doing, nor are we condoning such behavior, but let's encourage him to do more good and let's befriend him so that he can get a more positive, healthy circle of friends and let's not rush him into this and let's all realize that this sort of lifestyle change takes some time to let go of. But let me tell you what you should rush to do. You should rush to hit that subscribe button and uh, don't forget to hit that bell icon while you're at it. And don't forget to say Bismillah and smash that like button. I appreciate you spending some of your moments here with me today. If you would like to spend a few more moments with me, click any one of these videos right here. And uh, don't forget to subscribe by hitting this button right here. And until next time, I'm out.